up friends today I want to make a little mini album with these newspaper tops uh, paper, brown paper tops that go on top of like piles of newspaper when you're delivering papers so what I do is I fold them in half and then in half again and then it makes um, four quarters I want to trim the bottom and I'm that's how I'm going to make that's the side I'm going to make my paper bag journal so fold the paper in half and then in half again, and then I'm going to make um, these. I want to sew them together, so I won't be doing that on video. I have done it in the past differently, well, similar. You sew them down the center, and then um, I'll have little pages. Now I have all these folded into the signatures I want so like I said before I'll pull one out and I pull it in four and now I'm going to um, pull uh, sew down the center up here on all of them I'm going to do a zigzag and then when I find what I use for my cover then I'm going to do a straight stitch of these into my cover and then I'll just trim up maybe the openings or whatever you can do there's multi things I can do decide to do I could just leave some together and um, just cut off a pocket so it's up to you whatever you want to do it gives you that option for pockets so I'm going to sew all of these together so there'll be four signatures now I have these signatures uh, sewn and that's just a nice easy way to make a journal. So what I'm going to do now is I just got to go up here and just, you know, flip, snip it if I feel like it, or I can make them into pockets, the pages. So it's up to how I feel. You can separate them or make them into pockets or even keep them thicker. So, but there we go. That's our pages. signatures just like that now we have a large quite a large journal so we'll see um, depending on what you want to use if you want to fill your journal with um, other things and use like have pockets and that kind of thing you might not want to have such so many signatures but um, I have three sheets to each signature um, of the folded brown paper and then I have four so that's quite thick but it would be make a nice sketching journal too so I can slice them all up I'm thinking I'm going to make it into a sketching journal for myself I cut my first signature or first page so what I'm just going to do is I'm going to grab my exacto and I point it up go to the very corner and just do that just cut it like that Put a little pressure and yeah just like a letter opener and open it like that instead of having to worry about it and cut it with scissors and if it's messy it's okay because this is a junk journal so it doesn't have to be perfect if it doesn't have to be cut perfectly now here is my pages nice and separate I could probably even make more I got another one right here um, more because I got so many pages when I'm folding it in four it's a lot more because I usually fold them in half and have like a long book but this is so many pages almost each signature could be just one little sketchbook or put two together so that's what I have a nice little travel sketchbook to go with me that doesn't matter it looks great nice way to recycle so I'm going to continue cutting these and I'm going to figure out if I want them all in one book or not I split all my pages now I have 48 pages easy and anything like this you can repair as you go along or whatever I could sketch on them and I've even painted on these and they're great so um, they're great little recycled journal pages perfect paper instead of throwing it out if you know anyone who delivers newspapers or 
flyers and have these on them um, for yourself. And that's a good way to recycle them. So now we got to think of a cover. I think I might use a bag. So um, I will grab a paper bag. Nothing better than a nice paper bag to cover this So up. this is my paper bag. I only have one um, height for my camera. So it's a picture bag that my daughter got at... Uh, Odafest full of goodies, her goodie bags, and she had a few of these. She's got a teal one I made a book out of already, and um, I'll show you that one. And this one I made on International Crackers with Nikki's, and um, we are making them. Um, so this is out of a bag. So here's the pocket. So I'm going to do a similar thing. I got the idea from Lori Richardson um, video that she was recycling some bags, a whole bunch of bags that she had in her cupboard. So what I'm going to do is I got this bag folded. You can see the handles there. I'm going to remove those folded here. So I'm going to use this as the pocket. And I'm going to keep that idea and cut off some of the top. I'm going to measure what I need. It's perfect for these squares here. Um, for me because it's got a little bit of a lift so it's perfect and I have four signatures so I'm hoping I'll be able to fit four of them in there I'm going to try to squeeze them in a bit I'm not planning to add too much thickness I'm just adding to planning to either paint or draw with these. so I'm going to see if I can hold comfortably four signatures which I can without it overlapping or them poking out too much here so that's perfect perfect where it's folded already. So now I'm just going to grab uh, a ruler, kind of measure off where I'd want to cut it. Just by going and estimating, I'm not being too straight or too perfect about it. I just want a nice job here. So I'm just going to go, I'm actually going to grab this white um, peel off uh, wax type of crayon and there we go I got enough room here and here to um, cut that I'm not really measuring or anything I'm just trying to keep it somewhat straight so it looks balanced and that kind of thing when I get it done and then I'm just going to take these off and reuse the handle, which is totally easy to do. They're so easy. Just peel off the handle carefully so you don't tear it too much. Re-glue it to the inside cover of your bag. And now I'm going to cut this right along this easy. This is my cover. Nice and thick. Perfect book cover. Move this up, and now I have the folding flap as my folding flap here at the bottom of the bag as my pocket. I can cover it, close it this way um, or this way, and um, this time to be different, I might just do it in the reverse because the last time I did have my pockets on the in inside. I'll just show you again. On this book, I have my pockets on the inside. So, it's just kind of making that decision in which way do I want my pockets. I kind of like them on the inside, so I'm not 100% sure. I have to make that decision. And then I will put my handles on the inside right here. Let's tear this out very carefully. So then I don't mind ripping the, the bag part, but I want to keep this part nice. So then I can actually just glue it in to the inside of my bag. These bags look great. Now, anything that's kind of coming undone on the bag, like right here, it's splitting, I'm just going to glue it back together. And if it rips and you totally damage it and it's, it all comes apart, you can just use the string. Just grab the strip here and make another strip and glue between. You can use hot glue or PDA glue, glue stick, whatever. And then 
re remake your strip to the inside cup holder. If it grips. Mine's gripping a bit, but I can totally repair that by... There we go! I could totally repair all the rips right here at my glue stick. I got a busy background, guys. I know I need to buy more paper. So there's that. I can repair that like that. It's going to be on the inside. It just makes it thicker and stronger on the end of the bag. And I'm going to need to trim off some because this one's a little smaller than my first bag that I made. I mean, my first bag that I need to trim that off. And that, that is that. Neighbors' children are screaming. Sorry, guys. Yeah, they're all having fun out there. So now i got to figure out if I want to have it on the inside. Uh, I think I'm going to have the pocket on the outside just to try something different today. So I'm going to glue these. Right to the edge on the inside here and then trim off trim it off right after here I'm putting glue on the page I'm putting glue on my handle it'll just glue to itself a little bit better I am just using regular Elmer's PVA glue stick here All I'm using. I like to use my roller to push it together. And now we have a nice page happening. You could also um, split this open, put your handle inside. I don't it doesn't bother me to have it like this, so I'm not too fancy. Now I just want to glue um, that side the same way. Can you guys see? Am I making it visible to you? Easy way to make a nice junk journal bag. And I already glued this guy up. But I'm adding glue to the bag itself and to my handle once again, just again to stick together. And my other bag is so solid. So my other I'm just going to put my handles together like this so that I'm having them in the exact same spot. Close my bag. Kind of have them in the same spot here. Just to kind of get it, the gist of it so then I can just kind of straighten it out a bit. But just kind of have them in the same area. See, they're going to be lining up pretty good. And there we go. I like to get right at the end edge put that pressure on and cut off my edges after and like I said you can have the bag this way or this way which is the way I think I'm going to have it today we'll see I might change my mind but I think I'm going to have it this way trimming off my edges or I could fold it over I think I'll fold it over just for the heck of it. Make it a little diff different design here. There we go. It'll be about the same on both sides. Pushing that down. Yeah, I think I don't mind it folded over. Then you can also use the top of the bag to uh, as a pocket as well. I'm not sure if I will or not. We'll see. I, I haven't used the other one that way, but I'm making more glue marks. More glue. And there we go. This book bag cover is perfect. Now it's just letting it sit. Letting it. It doesn't even have to sit long. Just rolling it up. Putting that pressure on. You can put a book on it, whatever. And now we have our cover. Unfortunately, 
like I said, I can't move my camera. I can have it this way, which looks like a nice little bag in itself. That's why I did it the last time that way. Or we can have it this way and have this pocket designed on the outside. All we have to do is uh, fix this. What I did with my last bag is I just put some stitches right here. I actually did it across here. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do this time is I'm actually going to do a stitch probably all the way around this time. For my last one, I actually stitched it first before I added my handle just to show you. And then I added the handle a little bit more inside. I used a larger bag. I, I used the whole size of the handle. So I'm going to see if this works, if it'll go through all this paper. I'm going to take my time and um, stitch it all the way around. So then I have a pocket. And still got to decide which way I want to flip my. So now I sewn all the way around so I don't need the top pocket. I have this as a pocket still. And I made a stitch all the way around. I went slowly over handles. Didn't do any harm at all. It was great. And now this is what it looks like. I'm still thinking I want to put it this way this time. So I might do that and have the pocket on the outside on both sides. So now the only thing I don't like about having on this way is I prefer to paint a cover so that I'm still stuck on that if I want to do that or just put something on the cover. That one I'm a little bit stuck on because I like painting on the cover. But you know what, I think I'll just glue something on here if I want to paint it and I don't want the pocket bumps, but I still have the po little pocket here for tags or whatever. I'm now going to sew the uh, signatures in. Everything should fit nicely. I've got to cut some of these tails off. Everything should fit nicely in there. It's not going to be absolutely perfect, but it's going to be a nice, cute little junk journal. Bag junk journal. I okay, like it. so this is it. Um, did it, the pocket on the outside. Here is the sewn part. I kind of did a little bit, my paper slid. It's a little ziggy, but hey, it's okay. It works. It holds. That's it. So um, now I'm just going to do my cover. Um, it's a, might be a little bit on the wonky side, but it doesn't have to be perfect. This is a junk journal. And there are my pages. So, I think it works. Um, it was a little on the thick with having um, it folded into four. Um, I might, should have maybe took one signature out, but I like it anyhow. And there it is. There is my journal for sketching now. My paper bag, paper, brown paper journal book. So I hope you guys like that. And now I just got to decorate it and have fun with all of that. There you go. Now I have a sketchbook to throw some pencils in there, whatever, uh, tags and whatever I can just throw in there if I want to give it away or anything like that in the future. But now I have something cute, a traveling journal. That is all recycled. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video on how I made a paper bag journal um, for some sketching. And give it a try. Don't forget to craft like a duck. Bye, guys.